Our final speaker of the day is an international pop phenomenon and a passionate social activist who has helped raise more than a million dollars for LGBT equality and other social justice causes. You might know him as the new lead singer of Queen. Please welcome Adam Lambert. All right, now, my name is Adam Lambert. And I am proud to be a human. I'm also gay, cisgendered, redheaded, Jewish, and a man, but that's getting specific. Look, we have moved into an era of intense categorizing in an effort to declare our identities. We use labels in order to help others understand who we are and how we live. And sometimes we need them to figure ourselves out too because we want to take pride in our individuality. But do you sometimes feel that we have gotten a little carried away with all these labels? Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. I mean, wouldn't you rather identify somebody by their name and their energy instead of their sexual preference, their race, their gender, their age, or their religion? If we could do that, wouldn't that be more rewarding and allow for deeper connection? Now, I know, that's being very idealistic. It's wishful thinking, and sadly, this is not the reality of the world we live in, especially lately. Now, I typically avoid publicly speaking about politics because of its divisiveness. People get real sensitive, and I ain't trying to piss anybody off, but this year, Things have gone way too far. So I'm not speaking today about being a Democrat versus a Republican. Today is about right versus wrong. The current presidential administration has manipulated the country using fear and hate to gain power to divide us. Our differences are being used against us, and the shockwaves of this dangerous rhetoric have rippled throughout our community and beyond, and it fucking hurts. We have come way too far to stand by and watch our social progress be yanked backwards. It, you know, it's, it's almost like they're going, meh, you're different, you can't sit with us. What the fuck is that? It's childish and it needs to end now. Now, our pride parade is usually an all out shit show of a party where we all dress up like crazy unicorns and prance around through the streets. Yeah, it's a celebration of the progress we have made, our liberation, our freedom, our glitter. <laughs> But this year, we are facing such dark forces that pride has taken on a deeper purpose, protest. So today, we stand together in order to support anyone whose human rights are at risk. We resist homophobia. We resist transphobia. We resist misogyny. By invisibility. We resist racism, xenophobia, and we resist extremism, and anything else that helps promote hate. We stand defiant and will not be brainwashed. We refuse to be sucked into that kind of negativity. But I ask you not to fight hate with hate. We don't want to be hypocrites. So how can we resist? I'll tell you what I think. With unity, with visibility, truth, inclusion, acceptance, and most importantly, love. Look, we got a lot of work to do and a lot of ignorance to combat, but we know right from wrong. We know that we are stronger together than we are divided. So take some time today and connect with someone different from you. Recognize another human being. We all deserve to love and be loved. 
and that goes for all of us within the queer community, within this country, and on this planet. After all, the only way our rainbow is a motherfucking rainbow is with all the colors shining equally. Thank you. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce once again the Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles, the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles, and the West Coast Singers singing, This Land is My Land. Thank you.